Coming up, as a loyal customer of Ocado for many years, I had no idea until this week that their chairman is a major donor to the Conservative Party. I've cancelled my weekly delivery slot and my Ocado SmartPass payment, and it got me thinking about other brands and retailers who also donate to the Tories. Do we really want to be responsible through our purchases for the future funding of a hard-right party headed up by Liz Truss? If you want to make sure that you're not inadvertently funding the Tories and are interested in hearing more about the corruption surrounding these donations, then stay tuned. If you enjoy watching my videos, please give this one a like and spread the word by sharing a link on your favoured social media platforms. If you subscribe, you can also hit the bell icon to be notified of each new video I release. The Conservative Party is way better funded than any other UK political party, with an annual income of around £70 million. Those funds come from both individual and corporate donors, and the purchasing decisions that you and I make directly affect the revenue of those companies donating to the Tory party and, by implication, the size of those donations. By buying goods and services from these Tory donor companies, we as customers are effectively funding the Conservative Party. I've been doing some research to find out exactly who those donor companies are and what brands they use in the marketplace. Let me give you a quick run-through by market sector of some of the well-known retail brands that funnel your hard-earned money straight to their cronies in the Tory party. Let's start this run-through with the major supermarkets where most of us spend a significant proportion of our money. The ones to avoid are Asda, Iceland, Sainsbury's, whose president donated more than £1 million to the Tories between 2001 and 2017. And last, but certainly not least, online supermarket Ocado, whose chairman, Rick Haythornthwaite, donated £5,000 to Matt Hancock when he ran for the Tory leadership back in 2019, and has subsequently been put in charge of the current review of armed forces paying conditions. A corrupt appointment that even the right-wing Daily Mail in this article said had prompted fury and a cronyism row. They even quoted Shadow Defence Secretary John Healy as saying, We need Conservative ministers to prioritise personnel, not Tory donors. Rick Haythornthwaite is the same guy who back in 2014, when he was chairman of Centrica, British Gas, warned that the lights will go out if politicians and families continued to attack energy price rises and profits. Nice guy. Ocado founder Tim Steiner also helped bankroll the Tory party's general election campaign to the tune of 50 grand. Also, I confess to being unaware of Ocado's appalling working practices with poverty pay, zero hours contracts and outsourcing with the overwhelmingly black and people of colour couriers being paid less than £5 per hour. We should not be shopping at Ocado. By contrast, Tesco have a publicly stated corporate policy that they do not make party political donations. So whatever the rights and wrongs of their business model, we know that when you spend at Tesco, your money is not funnelled into the trousers of Matt Hancock or other sociopathic Tories. And even better, of course, is the co-op, whose business is, of course, owned by its members, of which I am one of 17 million in the UK alone. And anyone else can become one. The co-op support the local community, not big investors, with all profits going to charitable causes or back to its members. But even if you shop at the co-op or Tesco's, there are certain brands to avoid if you don't want your money being handed to the Tories. Probably the most important to avoid are brands owned by Associated British Foods, whose chairman, George Weston, gave £900,000 to the Tories up until 2005, while director of Whittington Investments, whose holding company, a charity, received a reprimand from the Charity Commission for not considering whether these donations were in the best interests of the charity. What a scumbag. So what are the brands owned by Associated British Foods? Here's a list. Dorset Cereals and Jordan's Cereals. Allenson's and Kingsmill Bread. But avoid Warburton's too, another major Tory donor. Ovaltine. 
Patek sauces, Rivita, Billington sugar and Silver Spoon sugar. Unfortunately, the other leading brand, Tate & Lyle, are also a big Tory donor. So maybe try buying the ethical brands in your local health food store. Or search out the Italian brand, La Perucci. Sunblessed, Truvia Sweetener, Twining's Tea. Also avoid Dalesford Organics, who funded the Johnson's recent wedding party. Then there's the crisp brands, Tyrrell's and Golden Wonder, so avoid them. VT Rice. And finally, any brand that's owned by the massive Tory donors, the Samworth Brothers, which include Soreen Mortloaf, Ginster's Pasties and Melton Mowbray Pies. Now there are other shops to avoid as well other than the supermarkets, which are Bowden, the online and catalogue retailer, Carphone Warehouse, whose chairman Charles Dunstan is a Tory donor, Clinton Cards, who give donations to individual Tory MPs like Andrew Rosendell, Dunelm, whose owner Bill Adderley donated £500,000 to the Tory party in 2019, the militantly Brexit-supporting JCB, who are not just a construction company, but also license out their logo and their brand for clothing, power tools, shoes, fashion bags, wallets, phone cases, light bulbs, batteries and toys. Avoid anything with the JCB branding because Lord Bamford owns JCB and between them, They've donated nearly four million pounds to the Tories since 2001. Then there's Next and Selfridges, some of whose profits find their grubby way into Tory trouser pockets. And then top of the list of non-food retailers to avoid is Wren Kitchens, whose owner, Malcolm Healy, has given a million pounds to the Tories while claiming 15.5 million pounds under the furlough scheme, while at the same time laying off hundreds of staff from this extremely profitable kitchen retailer. Turning to the leisure sector, places to avoid are Alton Towers, which are owned by Tory donors, the Presbury property firm, Flamingo Land in Yorkshire, which is more blue than pink, and anything produced in the theatre by Cameron Mackintosh. That includes Les Miserables, The Phantom of the Opera, Mary Poppins, Oliver, Miss Saigon, Cats and Hamilton. Maybe look elsewhere if you're planning a trip to the theatre. And if you have that kind of money, make sure you don't get there using a taxi from Addison Lee, whose founder, John Griffin, likes to channel funds to the Tories. If you're a gambler, avoid Betfair. And if you're a drinker, avoid Cobra Beer, Robinson Brewery Products and their pubs in the Northwest. And if you swerve them, do not take your custom to Weatherspoons, whose bizarre Tim Martin may well send a portion of his profits to the Tories, as he's done in the past. Oh, and Global Brands are another Tory donor, so avoid drinks like Hooch and VK. When you get home and turn the lights on, just give a moment's thought to your energy supplier. If it's Eon or Ovo Energy, then, my friend, you are an indirect donor to the Tory party. Why not switch to Octopus or Scottish Power? Other suppliers are available. But don't bother to substitute mains gas with Keller gas as, you've guessed it, they also grease the Tory palm. Any electric you do buy should not be used to power a Dyson vacuum cleaner. Expat Brexit refugee and whatever the opposite of patriot is, James Dyson, ensures a regular flow of financial lubricant to the Tories, as I'm sure you've heard about from the media. But hopefully not on Bloomberg News or in The Sun or in The Express, all of which are major Tory donors. Surprise, surprise. Bloomberg alone have funnelled more than £240,000 to their pals at Conservative Central HQ. So that's more or less it. But remember, this is just a quick sample of Tory donors. There are many others. But for now, back to my Mac to get this video edited using Final Cut Pro 10 and avoiding giving funds to the Tory enablers at Microsoft Limited. But before I wrap up, and although not someone we can affect with our purchasing decisions, I just wanted to give an honorary shout out to another major Tory donor, Lubov Chanukin, 
banker and wife of former Russian oligarch Vladimir Chanukin, who has donated £2.1 million to the Tories since 2012. The BBC itself has alleged that her husband was secretly funded by a Russian oligarch with close ties to President Putin. The more you look, the more troubling these Tory donations are. But at least we have the power of the purse. If even some of us make a decision to avoid buying these products and services, I think there'd be a measurable impact on these Tory donor companies. This is a form of direct action even more powerful than getting out on the streets. I'm using every opportunity to tell these companies exactly why I'm no longer a customer. And every time they hear that kind of feedback, perhaps it will make them question the wisdom of their political donations. Look, I'm no fan of Tesco's. I grew up in a small rural farming community, and I know just how much Tesco squeezed the margins of their suppliers. But looking around for an alternative retailer to the Tory besmirched Ocado, Sainsbury's and Asda, I came across this statement on the Tesco website. We are apolitical and we do not make political donations. With the additional option of the admirable co-op, with a coordinated effort helped by you sharing this video with your social media contacts, maybe we can get all those other companies in this video to follow their lead.